With Avengers Infinity War upcoming, a lot there's a lot of talk about it. We've covered a lot of stuff for Avengers Infinity War, so I thought for this editorial we'll take a little break from that and instead talk about the MCU's possible future. So in the future, we know there's an upcoming Captain Marvel movie, which will likely set the framework for Phase 4, and based on reports, it appears that it will involve scrolls. So this is actually important because likely the most organic story they'll come up with for Phase 4 after the scrolls are introduced is Secret Invasion, which is a very popular storyline. However, I don't think it's the right storyline for the MCU to adopt for Phase 4, and I have two big reasons for it. The first one is we've already seen this kind of story, and the second one is the setup and stakes just aren't there. So let's get on to the first one. When adapting the Secret Invasion storyline into the MCU, the likely route will be revealing that multiple political figures and superheroes have been replaced by scroll imposters. This could be a great story for viewers and fans alike, but the problem is that we've already witnessed this general storyline before in Captain America Winter Soldier. The reveal that various individuals are secretly scrolls will be very similar to a lot of people of when they revealed that multiple people were secretly Hydra agents. And I know there would be some differences in the movie of course, but overall it won't be anything new or fresh to the MCU, it's not adding anything, it's just kind of doing the same thing we've seen before but with a new paint. And another way we've already seen this story before is the aftermath, because after an event such as Secret Invasion, the Avengers team would be kind of divided, and the public opinion would be negative towards our heroes and there wouldn't be a lot of trust there. And if that sounds familiar, that's basically the place we're at after Civil War. You know, the heroes are kind of separated, there's not a lot of trust going on, the Sokovia Accords, all that kind of stuff. So, like I said before, it's not really retrending, it's not going any new ground, it's just kind of doing the same thing we've seen before, but with the new paint. And I know that'd be a cool way to introduce Dark Reign, and with all the new properties the MCU's gonna get once Disney buys Fox, I know that sounds really promising, and they probably wanna lick their chops at adopting it, but it just doesn't, it's not gonna be fresh, it's not gonna be new, and because of that, I definitely don't think that's that's something they should do first off the bat because after Civil War, after Infinity War, I think the audience really would like to see the heroes not divided and instead united. Maybe to face a common enemy in the next Avengers movie, but if our heroes are divided from a secret invasion movie and the aftermath of it, then that means we're just going to have to waste more time doing what Infinity War is going to do, which is reuniting our heroes. And what makes that feel special won't be there anymore because we've already seen that happen. No matter who the heroes are, no one's going to really feel entertained if they kind of see something like that again. Now, number two is the setup and stakes just aren't there. You know, I'm not trying to insult the Secret Invasion storyline or the MCU, but where we currently stand, a Secret Invasion movie would have been, you know, they'd start the setup in the Captain Marvel movie, maybe drop a few hints here and there in the various solo films that come following before the next Avengers, and they'll eventually reveal that, you know, a bunch of people, probably like a few key heroes, are scroll imposters the whole time. Or like if this was phase one, it'd be like Nick Fury is a scroll or something like that. This won't carry that much weight and won't really make that much sense in a greater picture post Infinity War. And the reason why is because a lot of heroes are getting retired. And these are like Iron Man, Captain America, maybe Thor, likely not Thor, but it's still possible. So uh, like those are heroes that people are gonna really care about. Like if Tony Stark was really a scroll the whole time, that carries a lot of effects. His influence, just the aftermath of that would be huge. Same with Captain America, a very public figure, an idol. If he was secretly a scroll, that would have huge ramifications in both the political, superhero, and just regular, just in general communities. But no one's gonna really care if like Doctor Strange or Spider-Man or Black Widow or Ant-Man is a scroll imposter. That's not really gonna affect anyone in a greater scope, especially because a lot of those heroes kind of stay in their own little space. Like Spider-Man isn't gonna affect anything in California or Africa or Asia. He just kind of stays in Queens or Brooklyn or the greater New York City area. And Black Widow can only do so much as a scroll imposter. Now, I'm not trying to discount her abilities here, but I mean, she doesn't even have superpowers. So like, there's really, there's no kind of reasoning behind it. And she's kind of an outcast anyways in the superhero community at this point. So it's not like she's gonna have great influence over the government or the current Avengers team. And Doctor Strange also, it's like, he kind of keeps to himself, really. Like, don't, he's gonna be doing his own magic stuff, you know, exploring other dimensions, all that. I doubt that's really going to be one of interest to the scrolls, but two, even if the scrolls replace him, what are they going to do? Like, it's not like the scroll can do magic. So, like I said, it's like there's, it doesn't really make that much sense for the scrolls to be replacing characters like this, 
and no one's gonna really care if those characters are replaced. Like, it, they don't have the influence really like Captain America, like Iron Man, or like a Nick Fury to really do anything. And even Nick Fury now doesn't really have that much influence for his being an imposter to really matter. Now, Black Panther, though, would be a good target for this. But I kind of doubt they would do this for a movie because likely they would want the two main leads that aren't scrolls to be Black Panther and Captain Marvel. And it'd be like those two versus the imposters kind of thing. Just especially due to the success of Black Panther, they're not going to waste that character and him being an imposter because likely the imposters will have less screen time than the lead actors. And of course, they're going to push Captain Marvel because this is kind of her storyline. So like I said, I just, for all intents and purposes, this type of story, I think is better served for a more intimate scale. Like I think it's better for a more intimate adaptation, which I hope is what they do for the Captain Marvel movie. Like do your secret invasion storyline, but keep it kind of centered to the, to the Kree. Um, instead of the greater range of Earth and stuff like that, because unlike the comics, the MCU doesn't have a really wide and diverse superhero community that everyone knows about. Like, you won't have Captain America likely anymore after Infinity War. You won't have Iron Man anymore after Infinity War, or at least not the capacity you have them now. So, really, the scrolls infiltrating and you know the superhero community and all that stuff won't really carry that much weight. And yeah, that's that's really where I'm leaving this off. So comment below what your guys' thoughts. Do you think the MCU should post, you know, should pursue post Avengers 4 Secret Invasion for a storyline? So comment below, comment below what your guys' thoughts and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking out our content. Check out our Facebook and Twitter for our latest updates and our website for the latest news articles and editorials. Also, feel free to donate to our Patreon if you'd like to see our current content get better. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys have a great day.